Here you go. Yes. Thank you. This is perfect. Now I don't have to call you. <laughs> you don't ever have to call me. You don't even have my number. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that straightened out this afternoon. What time do you want me to pick you up? I'm supposed to ask why and for what, right? You always get so flustered when you're around me. It's very... I am not flustered. But your memory. Have you forgotten it's the General Hospital Carnival? Okay, let me um, say something to you and try to remember it. <laughs> there is no connection between you and me and the carnival. There will be when you go with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to happen. Oh, I understand what it is. You're scared to go on the rides. I'm not scared to go on the rides. Are you kidding? I love the rides. Improve it. Oh. Hi. I, I'm sorry. I got your message. I was going to I was going to call you when I got back no, to work. Don't even worry about it. I would have wanted to do this face to face anyway. Um You want to go to the carnival with me? I realize it might be a last minute invitation, so if you're already going with someone else. No, yeah, I'm not. She is. Your hair looks great, by the way, without your hand. Yes, thank you. Thanks to you. Yeah. And I would love to go to the carnival with you. Uh, great. You only pick up after my shift. Uh, how about I just, I'm, I can meet you at the hospital? Or we can do that. That's great. Uh, nurse station, 10th floor. Great. Sounds good. All right. Okay. I'll see you then. I'm choosing not to feel rejected. Oh, feel rejected. This is me rejecting you. You're just trying really hard to get to me. I don't mind telling you. It's working. <laughs> hey. Hey, hi. Why did you want to be here? Shouldn't you be resting in bed or something? No, no. The carnival is raising money for Michael's foundation. Plus, I want to find some alternate routes to the food tent so I can ditch Jack's later and get a corn dog. Oh. Are you sure that's healthy? It's a corn dog, Lulu. I've eaten enough carrot sticks okay. and celery to be able to have five corn dogs. Okay, I'm sorry. So then would this be a good time to talk about a guy who's driving me insane? Oh, yes, yes. Tell me everything. All right, so I met this guy at Jake's. Actually, no. Um, this guy was hitting on me at Jake's until Lucky and Ethan started beating him up. Are you serious? Yeah. I thought Lucky and Ethan hated each other. Yeah, well, they do, except when they're being Neanderthals. Hi. Um, hey, hey. It's so he, he wasn't even trying to avoid the fight, right? He just kept mouthing off until Nicholas had to come in and stop it. Well, what happened? Who'd the guy leave with? Well, me. <laughs> well, <laughs> then he won. No, he... <laughs> I, I brought him here, and, and, and I dumped him, and I ditched him. Okay, so... So he's he's still hitting on me. He's not taking no for an answer. Oh, but he's stalker. Is he stalker? No, God, it's it's not like that. It's just he's 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 like really complicated. You know, he's very cocky, and I mean he's charming. He makes things fun, like being at the hospital and getting the crap beaten out of him. But he's so crazy about himself. He thinks that everybody else should be crazy about him too. Right. <laughs> Sounds like you are. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Fine, yeah, he's cute, and <laughs> yes, he makes me laugh, but there's no way that I'm going out with Dominic. <laughs> you okay? Uh, yeah, just got a sick headache. It just came out of nowhere. Three gorgeous women all in one place. Did I hit the jackpot? I can't believe you followed me all the way over here. Uh, no, no, I, I didn't. You heard me arrange to meet Matt, who's my date, as opposed to you. Here. You guys aren't supposed to be for hours. Why would I be here so early? Because you want to bully Matt, and, and, and you're going to try and convince him to stand me up. Mm, yeah, I'm flattered. And I, I hate telling women this again. It happens all the time. I don't spend all my time plotting ways to meet up with you. You've never told a woman that in your life. It's just fate. It's meant to be is meant to be, and... Uh, I'm meant to make you happy. Oh, huh? no, we're not, we're not meant to be. We're not, and fate has nothing to do with us, and there is no us, so leave me alone. <sighs> she wishes she was going out with me instead of that doctor. You think this is funny? I mean, you think this is some kind of joke? Because you, you, that you're throwing around your little lines and being all cute and charming? You think that makes it all right? Hey. 
You lost me. Hey, uh, when a woman says no, she means no. Okay, that's not a challenge to try and win her back. That doesn't mean that you try to show up wherever you think she's going to be or pick a fight or interrupt a conversation or try to bully her date into standing her up. No, you treat that girl with respect. You don't go throwing around all sorts of charming lines and flashing your dimples and thinking that she's going to fall down at your feet. That's not how it works. Miss Falconer? Yes, right? that's correct. Thanks for your generous advice. I'll, I'll take it to heart, but uh -huh. I can't win Lulu back because I've never been with her. And I don't have any dimples. See? Not even one. Doctor Nichols.